All right, so you know those videos popping up on YouTube Shorts and TikTok? They're like 10, 15 seconds long until you go change this setting and make your computer run 100 times faster or change this setting on your network card and make your internet 5,001% faster? Well, most of those are garbage. So I decided to start a new series that will actually show you guys what is actually PC facts and PC myths. And I'm gonna call it PC Mythbusters. And today we're starting with the timeless classic, Deleting your temporary files will speed up your computer. All right, so if you haven't seen one of these videos yet, the premise is this. Basically, you go to a run command on your computer, you type in percent temp percent, click the OK button. At that point, it'll bring up an explorer window which has all of your temporary files and you just highlight them all and delete them. Then your computer will just run faster. So where did this all begin? You see, back in the early 2000s, most of us still had traditional spinning hard drives and these drives were, well, slow. And these drives were also susceptible to something called fragmentation. Basically, Windows would just save your files anywhere it could, and then when your disk had to go get it when you tried to open a file, it would have to go to a bunch of different locations on a slow drive, which would slow down your computer. So what does that have to do with deleting files? Well, you see, deleting files was only half of the answer. You see, back in the day, us sysadmin types would actually go in, delete your temporary files, delete temporary internet files, empty your recycle bin, basically do a disk cleanup so that we can actually get your drive down to a small size to run a disk defragmentation program on. And there were two reasons we would do this. The first reason was you actually needed free disk space to actually run the disk defragmentation program. And the second reason was because the less files there were, the faster the disk defragmentation would actually work. Now with newer hardware and newer operating systems, we don't really worry about disk fragmentation anymore. You see, Windows has become much more optimized to deal with disk I.O. and also there's been a disk defragmentation scheduled task put in since Windows 7 was released back in 2009. So the big question, will deleting your temporary internet files speed up your computer? The answer, no. Now luckily with this tip, it won't actually harm your computer to delete your temporary internet files. Those files are mostly junk. Uh, worst case scenario, you may have to reset like a menu setting or something in an application that you use, but that's usually not the case anymore either. Most uh, developers don't actually put anything of use in the temporary directory because, well, people like me used to go just delete it and then blame the manufacturers for writing crappy software. So I can hear you typing away in the comments, oh the free space, oh the free space. No, you're not going to get back much free space either. You see, I've been on this current build of Windows for about two years now, and I've got about 80 megabytes of temporary files being used currently. And no, I don't regularly go clean that up. Now, if you want to get back this space for your computer, two places I would go check would be your downloads folder, which is basically where everything on the internet that you download is stored, and then also empty your recycle bin. Because see, once you delete files, they're not actually deleted until you empty your recycle bin. So on a scale of one to five, with one being an absolute myth and five being Nope, that's wrong. So on a scale of one to five, with five being an absolute myth and one being absolutely true, you get a five on this one. It's an absolute myth. It's not gonna help your computer run any faster. So guys, I hope this helped you out. If it is, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Consider joining the Pinky Tech Discord server where you can talk with more nerds like me. And as always, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.